Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question from a fellow boater here actually in the Pacific Northwest. So this fellow boater named Ivan has got a sailboat in Seattle, uh, so just south of where we are. We're based in Vancouver, British Columbia, for some of you that don't know. And he would like to start boating in the winter. His sailboat is about 45 foot in length and he's got a diesel engine, like most of us obviously have diesel engines. Pretty prevalent these days is diesel, not that many gasoline powered sailboats, although they exist, but not pretty rare. And he was told by other fellow boaters that he could add a diesel heater. Is that possible? The short answer is absolutely. Um, cruising in the Pacific Northwest or probably in other parts of the world in the maybe not prime season is probably one of the biggest benefits of boating is in the off season. Anchorages are less crowded. Yes, it's slightly colder and colder, but you can still be out on the water. And in a lot of those places like British Columbia or Washington State, you might have anchorages all to yourself. So there's really, we did a whole video about an hour presentation on a video at the last year's boat show. If people are curious and you wanna geek out, you can definitely watch that. There's really two types of diesel heaters. Uh, there's diesel heaters that basically blow air and they're called forced air heaters. So it's basically, a diesel still burner uh, warms up the air and you basically send this warm air throughout the boat. Um, it's better for smaller boats, of course, because it's harder to just move air. And the other system is what's called a diesel heating hydronic system. A hydronic system is basically warming up coolant and having that coolant circulate up throughout the boat and having these blowers throughout the boat that in turn act like radiators. You've got basically cooling going through and then you can war blow warm air on them and you share this sort of radiant heat throughout the boat. So really two ways to warm a boat that are regular or popular in the Pacific Northwest with diesel, either forced air or a hydronic system. Uh, both are a good choice and depending on the size of your boat, as your boat gets bigger, like even a 45 foot sailboat, if you're looking at warming up the V-berth, the aft cabin, maybe even the salon, the galley, and ahead, you're probably gonna be looking at a hydronic heating system to do that properly. And that's certainly what I have on my boat. And uh, even like, look, we're in probably, you know, November this time of year, fall, and I can actually use my boat in the fall. And even if it goes near zero or in the 40s, if you're from the United States and you're thinking in Fahrenheit, here we are boating in the Pacific Northwest when it's not that all that warm, but the anchorages are lovely and uh, there's a lot of alone time. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now. And also, thanks for watching.